Amazon delivery to last night, the water was way above my head. Cliff edge. There is actually snow on the top of those mountains. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Morning. This is where we parked last night. Pretty good spot. Completely silent. Apart from the tide came in pretty close like right up to the van and at one point I did wake up and think hmm what if my van's too heavy and the cliff erodes <laughs> yeah there's a very small chance of that happening or not as the case may be a little bit windy this morning and it rained from about midnight till first light it's only just stopped raining when we pulled up last night, I saw loads of little eyes down there. I think it was birds. It might have been seals, I don't know. I just thought, I'm gonna have a quick walk and have a look and see if I can see any wildlife other than these birds. Now, if I'm not mistaken, that is a Lido. Water is not treated or monitored and is under supervision. The structure is not safe. Beware a slippy surface on a road access is not permitted. Do not walk on the seawall. It is not safe to do so. It's not very clear because all the knots are taken out of there. Obviously somebody's peeled all the letters off. So I'm going to ignore the sign and do the opposite to what it said. I'm going to have a look. Although I am going to be careful because there's obviously a sign there for a reason. I'll tell you what we'll do is we won't go on it. We'll go next to it. Sea salt swimming pool. It is slippy. Wow. What's that then? Kids pool? When it says don't walk on the wall, I assume it means that wall is right by the water. Because obviously if it gives way, you end up in the sea, aren't you? There you go, look at that. For a sight. So I guess it's to protect you from the waves, right? It'll, you won't get smashed by the waves. You still be swimming with like all the sea creatures, which is weird. Really strange. Very calm day today. Maybe it's just because we're being protected by these cliffs. Let's go and have a look down here. Yeah, so last night the water was way above my head. Coming all the way up to these rocks at the edge, literally right up to the van. Yeah, and like I say, at one point I did think maybe I should just move the van back a little bit. Obviously it's fine, but it's getting a bit worried. The sea's actually coming in now. You see it coming in. So all the eyes that I saw yesterday, they must have just been birds. It's been all birds just chilling out in these rocks. I wonder what happens when the tide comes in though, because they'll all have to move. I suppose they just move. Is there any sea creatures in these rocks? I've got to be careful now, because I've hurt my back really badly. I can see some urchins. Well, sadly we can't stay here. I'd like to have stayed here, but unfortunately, there's no internet. Um, and I've got to work. I've got work to do today. So I need to move somewhere where I can actually get a reception. So I'm hoping somewhere just up the road, not too far, 
there is like a little kids park or something then I can get parked up next to that and Mika can get out she can play she can have some fun because it is kids half term she can be playing while I'm working and um, we've finished work and we've probably got about an hour before it gets dark or before, an hour before it's completely dark so we'll try and get out then afterwards as well yeah there ain't much one my friend eh birds interesting to see the lido though i have to find out a bit more information about that
there's a jet wash there, I might use that one there. Amazon delivery to petrol station. Now, time for a jet wash. Amazing rainbow. You see? There's a car coming in. Go. Let this car go past. Hi. <laughs> messy hair kid. Very messy. <laughs> Someone needs to have a shower. No, I don't. Hair is a tip. <laughs> Alright, hang on a second. Your hair is. Right, jump out in. Fix is going. What is going on? Almost gone that. No. Almost missed it. It's a shame. Sad. That was like super, super, super bright. And right next to the van as well. Right on these bushes here. Right, let's carry on. Name me a rare colour for a house. Pink. Correct. There was a pink house over there. Aviemore? How is this Aviemore? Right, we've just been shopping. 
Aldi. I'm trying to get some like non-stick stuff because everything's just rattling around in the van. The van looks good, doesn't it? Look, nice and clean. <laughs> Although it's not clean because it's covered in all sorts of rubbish. But... Because the gritter just came right yeah. past us and chucked away the gritter. And we just bumped into a couple of our subscribers. So just wanted to say a big hello to David and Nicola. Yeah. So we just over by the shop over there. So they've got a caravan, they're gonna get a camper van next year. We've inspired them and so have a lot of other people as well. Where's the van kit? <laughs> always in the wrong pocket. It's always in the wrong pocket, yeah. Right, I'm not gonna show you inside the van because it's a mess. Wait. <coughs> That's what we're gonna, uh, we've ended up in Abbey Mall. I don't know how we ended up, got lost basically and just ended up here. There is actually snow on the top of those mountains. Yeah. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. The last time we were here was Christmas Day. Or whatever. Oh, yeah. Back to the reindeer. Hey? Yeah. Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god! 